what's up guys? Mike from Critical Bench. I've got strength coach Chandler Marchman. We're at his gym, Elite Strength and Conditioning, located in Tampa, Florida. Today we're going to go over the 225 uh, bench press rep test. Now if you're in high school, sometimes the weight you use is 185. Um, the pro combine you use 225, so the weight's not important. Basically the first thing we're going to do in this uh, video is go over the test itself, what the rules are to make sure you're doing it correctly and don't lose any problems with that. Now Nike and Under Armour are usually the ones that run the standardized testing, so those are some of the rules that we're going by. And I'm going to hand it over to Chandler now, he's just going to demonstrate some of the rules of the test first of all. First and foremost, um, the points of contact are what you're going to have to address. With this test you're going to have to have your feet on the ground, ass on the seat, and your shoulders on the bench. Now, at this point, basically you will begin the test. You'll have obviously your spotter hand you the weight, get set, and you have to bring the bar to your chest, full extension, until you hit failure. If the spotter basically helps you at any point, the test is done. So ultimately the objective is to get as many reps unbroken as possible. Alright, so a couple of tips we're going to go over. Um, the most important thing for the rep test, it is about local muscular endurance, so you obviously have to have a lot of muscular endurance for this. However, there are other things that are important as well. Number one, you have to be strong. When you increase your maximal strength, ultimately your work capacity will go up. What I mean by that is if I can bench press 405, it stands to make sense that I could probably you know, press 225 with relative ease. Obviously, the greater strength, the easier it will be. It's all about efficiency of movement, okay? So, with also efficiency of movement, you have to have your form down. One of the things we'll go over with form is basically how to minimize the range of motion so it becomes a more efficient movement. Another thing, um, let's see. Uh, tip um, number three coming up? Tricep strength. Yeah. All right, if you have the advantage of working at a gym, training at a gym that has boards, um, accommodated resistance like bands or chains, it will help because it will, you know, basically you know, utilize the triceps more and that's really going to be important for your lockout when doing a test like this. But if you don't, just really focus on overloading the triceps both during the bench test and also after with your supplemental work as well. Um, trying to think what else we got here. Maybe show, show what a rep would look like? Just absolutely, absolutely. This is 135, but you know, same thing applies. So we have all of our points of contact. I'm bridging up. Now a lot of y'all might not have the same height on your bridge, but it's important just basically have the points of contact. Feet, ass, shoulders, and head. You get a handoff? Yeah. For the test? Yep. So the spotter, bring it in. It's important to note I'm not going to press up and out. I'm going to keep my shoulder blades retracted and in contact with this bench. Alright, so he'll lift it off to me. I'm staying nice and tight. Right here. At this point, I'm pushing my chest up. My shoulder blades are tucked in, elbows tucked in, bring it down, pushing myself into the bench. Yep. Now, it's important to know with the form, it's all about efficiency of movement. If I had a flat back and my shoulder blades were rounded, if you notice, the movement would be a lot farther. Okay, so what would be, you know, verse right here, very short, efficient movement. If I'm flat, that's about another six inches. That's another six inches, and over time, that will make a big difference. I'll jump in with a tip here, too. Make sure your handoff guy knows not to lift the bar way too high and overextend you, because you could be locked in with a good range of motion, and now when you get the handoff, it lifts you up off the bench and pulls yes. you out of your position. Absolutely. All right, cool guys, use these tips, practice this a little bit, and we'll be back soon with more info to get you kicking butt in this uh, test. Thanks a lot.